Hi, I'm Louie Martinez, your student council president. And I'm Rebecca Johnson, here to bring you the news. Students, the end of the first quarter is next week on Friday. Make sure to complete all of your assignments and study for your tests and quizzes. Make sure all of your late work and missing work is turned in before next week. Check Infinite Campus often to monitor your hard work. Ask for help. Remember, your mind is one thing no one can take from you. Your mind is yours. Use it right. Use it now. Student-led conferences are coming up. Be ready to shine in front of your parents. This is the time you will share your hard work in all of your classes. Be proud. This is a good reason to turn in your work on time. Plus, the higher GPA you, choose, you have, the sooner you will be able to choose your enrichment for the second quarter. Mark your calendars. The band and jazz concert is Thursday, October 15th from 7 to 8 p.m. in the Phoenix Auditorium. Play some tunes, band and jazz. We hope to see you and your parents there. Just heads up staff and students, Pitcher Retake Day will be Tuesday, October 13th in the PAA Gymnasium. Be ready to smile, you're on camera. There is a contest going on. It's the Monster Bash. It's a graveyard smash. You create a monster for the book fair. Entries are due Thursday, October 22nd. Monsters will be judged on creativity, originality, and elements of design. Requirements on the back of your entry are first and last name plus your grade with your first hour teacher. This cannot be any longer than 9 by 12 inches. You may not trace, copy, or plagiarize. The judges are Miss Brandenburg, Miss Lehner, and Miss Fernandez. This week in sports, we interviewed a student that does one of the most backbending sports in America, gymnastics. We interviewed 8th grader Skyla Flores about her gymnastics career. Skylar Flores, I'm in 8th grade and I do gymnastics. So Skylar, how long have you been doing gymnastics? Since the beginning of this year. And what inspired you to start gymnastics? Uh, Gabby Douglas. She is a Olympic gymnastics uh, gold medalist. And have you had any challenges with your gymnastics career so far? Uh, not having strong enough arms to pull myself up on the bar or falling when I'm trying to concentrate on the beam. And what goals do you have for yourself in gymnastics? I would like to go to the um, Olympics for gymnastics. And do you mind showing us some of your gymnastic skills? Sure. Alright, let's go. Did you know that Adolf Sachs moved to Paris in 1842 and registered his invention, the saxophone, in 1846? Only four members of the saxophone family are used today. The soprano, the alto, the tenor, and the bass. The saxophone has a metal body and is played with a single beating reed, which the player controls through his or her mouth as it tightens. Kenny G was a famous saxophone player and Grammy Award winning saxophonist. Kenny G rose to fame in the mid 1980s with a signature smooth jazz sound. He is the most successful jazz saxophonist musician of all time. We were lucky enough to interview seventh grader Blaze Martinez about his saxophone playing and this is what he had to say. Basics of playing a saxophone is basically just learning the notes and making sure you don't squeak and basically that's all you need to do with any woodwind instrument. It's the best thing to do, learn the notes first and play them right. I choose a saxophone. I have no idea. I saw this YouTube video of this cool guy playing it and I was like, yo, that looks sick. So I was like, I'll play that. So that's why I chose it. Do you have any tips for beginners? Or beginners? Clean out your mouthpiece a lot because dried up spit gets in there and it's really gross. Uh, clean it with isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips. Then it'll smell like weird alcohol for like a second. And then it's, it's it's good. And yeah, just clean your mouthpiece. Anything else? Uh, go buy a skateboard. Skateboarders are good. Breaking news: Miss Julie's art exploration enrichment class will participate in a life drawing of a horse on October 9th outside the 50 wing. 
on the grass. See you there. So life drawing is part of my enrichment and we're going to be going outside and drawing a horse next Friday and um, it's going to give us a little bit better experience on uh, drawing an actual model instead of just a, a flat picture or a video on, uh, on the screen. The favorite part is that it's very challenging because you have a model that might be moving and it also uh, gives students the experience to uh, actually see an animal that large and, and get to draw them and sometimes it's a little bit better than just the picture on the paper. At my first year teaching we brought in a falcon and a vulture. Cool, thank you Ms. Sheely. You're welcome. And they said I can do a review on How I Met Your Mother. Challenge accepted and suit up! Now, if you watch a TV show, you'll get that reference. Hello, my name is Bernard Hunt, and welcome to Toxic Reviews. Today on the cutting board, it's How I Met Your Mother. Let's start from the beginning. Now, How I Met Your Mother was created in 2005 as just a standalone TV show about the narrator, Ted Mosby, explaining to his kids how they met their mother, his wife. Now, after an eight-year run, it's a beautifully crafted story that just leaves us in tears and laughter. Now, I do love the series. It's beautiful, with my favorite cur character being Barney, not Ted, because, you know, challenge accepted and suit up. That should be a shirt. I'm pretty sure it is a shirt, but it doesn't matter. This show is awesome. I want you guys to see it. I'm not going to spoil it too much because, along with The Office, this is one of my favorites, and I love it every day, and I watch it every day. So that's why I'm going to give it the rightful score of 9 out of 10 Barneys. But, hey, that's just my opinion. Now, I'll let you choose next week which one you want. Do you want Vanoss Gaming or do you want PewDiePie? I'll let you decide. But until next time, see you guys later. Goodbye from Pueblo Academy of Arts School News. most successful jazz saxophonist musician of all time. Musician? What's a musician? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to read it fast so I don't get the giggles, okay? Musician. Musician.